Welcome to hashtag 13 nights of Samhain. Welcome to Pagan Crafting. I'm your host, Kara. Join me today as I rock one of the questions for the 13 nights of Samhain. Okay, we have October 26. Share your favorite recipe of the season. A little tasty traditions I'm feeling. My favorite autumn recipe is going to be unveiled. My daughter says it's a little bit different every year, but I think that also depends on the pumpkin that I use as well. I make a mean pumpkin soup. I first got a loving for pumpkin soup from when I lived in Australia. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You pour some cream on it with some, with some butter, not margarine. It's got to be butter. It's just a little piece of magical goodness right there. So today we're going to get into some cooking witchery. So join me as I go into my kitchen and let's have some fun. So starting off with super easy ingredients. We got some rosemary, pumpkin pie, spice, nutmeg, fresh ginger, garlic powder, garlic itself, onion, pumpkin, you want some butter and some cream and also some chicken soup broth. Starting off with one of the main ingredients, garlic. What we're going to do is we are going to peel a few cloves of garlic. I'm going to brown that with some butter and I'm also going to brown the onions too. These ones we're going to dice up quite a bit. And then we're going to throw those in the pan and we're going to use, let's say, I don't know what, whatever, how much garlic you'd figure. If, if one clove is enough for you, I did four. Now with the onion, I'm not going to dice up the onion. I'm going to more cube it. So I just want to like golden brown it. This is the only type of onion I happen to have in the fridge when I went looking but probably one of those golden onions would be really, really good. But a little bit of color is also nice. So we're going to throw pretty much the whole onion in the pan. And what we're going to go for is yet some more garlic. We're going to throw whole cloves of garlic. I, I, I'm, I'm Ukrainian Irish, so I tend to like a lot of garlic. So I probably threw another six cloves of garlic just in the big pot. And about, I'm going to dice up some rosemary, probably about a teaspoon of rosemary. Using the small side of the grater, what I do is I freeze my ginger. When you freeze your ginger, you're going to get this like, oh, this beautiful powder. And look at this, it melts between your fingers and it is it just dissolves in the hot water beautifully. So may I suggest frozen garlic or frozen ginger to work with. Coming back to our pan, we have a little bit of uh, browning to do here. I have this on about a medium high temperature, watching it quite a bit. Now, while that's doing its thing, I'm going to open up this pumpkin here. And I was just going to jump in. I thought about it. And I'm like, I got, that'll be a lot of guts I'm going to have to deal with. So we're going to go in and scoop out all the guts. I didn't save the seeds this time. If you want, you can do some divination with some seeds too. They're great for baking and salting. So good. Keeping on top of your garlic and onion browning there as well. Try to clean out the guts as much as you can. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get into some slices with the pumpkin. And that's just going to make it easier to prep and work with. So 
So we are going to demolish this whole pumpkin in this big spaghetti pot, but I'm just going to whittle it down a little bit as I go. Now you could use either potato peeler, which works super quick, or you can just use your knife as well. Cleaning off the insides and keeping the cubes quite large because they're going to cook down quite a bit. They will maintain their position, their space in the pot. They won't turn into mush in the pot, which is fine if they did because we're going to mush it out anyway, but they don't do that. Now, since the onion and the garlic is finished browning, I'm going to put that into the pot. Now, while I'm prepping the pumpkin, we're going to get some of that water boiling. I, I did put about one third of water in there, not very much yet. Now, depending on the size of your pot, depending on the size of your pumpkin, because everything is done out of love, we're measuring with our heart. Uh, you see me using a tablespoon because so I'm trying to figure out how much we, we have to, we need more garlic. So garlic powder, usually you sprinkle it over the top and a nice fine coating. Using some nutmeg. Again, I don't know how much I really ever put in. Let's, let's go with like maybe, I don't know, quarter teaspoon. Now this is a pumpkin spice. It's got cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and something else. Probably cloves in there. I, uh, I like a lot of this stuff. So I probably go with two tablespoons. There's a little bit, What you know what, just, just going to dump the rest of it in. It's We're measuring with our heart here, my friends. If you guys want a recipe, I can figure this out. Email me. My email is in the community. And I will come up with a recipe for you. Now, stirring in all the spices, we're going to have the water level just about half an inch, about an inch above the pumpkin. And we're going to let this boil till the pumpkin starts to go into a darker color. You can still see some bones, some, some lighter spots in there. And that's when you know you need to cook it a little bit longer. Again, this is on about a medium heat. Don't forget, we're also going to put some chicken or you could use a vegetable base as well if you're vegetarian. A chicken soup base tastes super good. I'm sure a vegetable tastes uh, just, as, just as yummy. Now we're going to mush this all up. So I'm using an old school blender here. Now that that's all done, let us try some soup. It looks a little bit lighter because I did pour some cream on this and mix it in. Then I forgot. Let's throw it in the shot. So coming back again, a little dollop of cream here. I was trying to be fancy and make a design, but you know, it's going to do its own thing. So fancy pants, my friend, we have pumpkin soup. Enjoy. If you want the recipe, give me a shout. Well, thank you for joining me for some cooking witchery. And I hope you try something that you've never tried before. Comment down below with a pumpkin if you've actually tried pumpkin soup. I, uh, I would love to know because it's not, no one in Canada makes pumpkin soup it's so strange when i make it and give it to my friends and family they're like oh, i've never heard of this before it's like it doesn't matter who i talk to about it never heard of pumpkin soup australia oh my god it is so good this is where i learned it from i had to come up with my own recipe and figure out how to make it but i think i'm doing a little good my daughter says i mix it up a little bit every year but Rosemary's my new magical herb. It's going in again this year. <laughs> well, thanks so very much for chilling out with me. And join me tomorrow for October 27th. October 27th, we have what traditions or rituals do you practice during Samhain? Many, many ridiculousness. Sometimes none at all. But join me tomorrow. Let's find out.